What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial video and this time it's going to be about remote package installer, remote package center, however you want to call it. But guys, this one is going to be really good. I'm going to make this as short as possible and as detailed as possible as always. And let me tell you, I really prefer this one and I really prefer this method over using a hard drive. Just to throw a quick benefit out there, you remember how when you try to install a package using a hard drive, you'll have to look at this screen for endlessly about 20 minutes or 15 minutes. But then guys, when you're using a remote package installer, you can actually be gaming while your package is installing. How cool is that? And guys, if you've seen this annoying little pop-up every time you try to start a game, I know it's annoying. So I've given a very simple tip on how to avoid this and how to avoid your PS4 updating to the latest version or downloading the software. So go back to my remote play tutorial that I just posted two days ago and towards the other half of the video, I have given you a very detailed explanation on how to avoid that. All right, guys, so I'm going to cover two different aspects over here. So that is going to be the Windows PC and the Mac. And also going to cover the two different categories that is either through the Wi-Fi or the LAN cable, which is my preferred method because it's so much more faster. So I'm guys, I'm, this is what we're going to do. And let's get straight into it. Of course, guys, the first thing you need is a remote package installer package, which I'm going to be linking in the description for your PS4. And the second thing we need is the PS4 remote package sender, which is for the system side. So you do have uh, Mac OS right here. I think it's renamed as MAN which probably is a mistake but you also have the Windows version and the Linux version if you want to go and experiment with that however guys this is for the Mac this is for the Windows and we'll have to thank iRefuse for this one and big shout out to him so I do have my Mac version already installed if you look over here there it is that is the package remote ps4 remote package center and we're going to get straight into that in just a bit all right guys so now that we have all the files downloaded and ready to go so the first thing you're going to do is jailbreak your ps4 i've already jailbroken it so what we're going to do we're going to install the remote package installer it's a small file it's going to get done instantly so now that it's installed guys there you go now we have the remote package installer installed so that's one of the very important things from the ps4 side so we need to run this in order to accept the packages that's being sent so already logged into the ps4 right now and here's my ps4 connected over here so just to show you that i'm already in the same network so i'm just going to go to network over here airtel 533 77 dd and if you look over here that's the same connection that i have here we go guys so what we're going to do first i'm going to go ahead and keep this ready over here and we're going to open up our special application to send the package over so guys as you notice this is going to automatically take automatically take your pc's IP address, but make sure to change the port to 8080, which is important. Click on change port and nothing's going to show up. Nothing's going to pop up. You just know that you got to click it once. And uh, here we go, guys. This is the PS4's IP address. If you want to recheck, you can open up Chiaki and you can see it, it does have the address over here. You can cross verify that 192.168.1.103. And that's the same thing over here. I'm going to choose a package file to send. I'm going to put .pkg. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm going to choose Angry Birds, for example, because this is 1.42 GB. Sounds like a fair enough GB to go with, so I'm going to go and choose this one. And you have this little test open in browser option, so if you click this, it should automatically start downloading for you, which means that it is working. So I'm going to cancel that. Before you go ahead and click on send, you need to make sure to open up the remote package installer. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to open this up. All right, with that running in the background, now I'm going to go and click on send. There you go, guys. It's a success over here and it is sending here. I'm going to go back to the home. And as you can see here, there it is. If you actually click on that, you can actually see it downloading at the moment. And through Wi-Fi, it is going to be a little slow. I'm guessing about maybe three to five MB per second. So here's the best part. You do not have to be on that screen. You can go ahead and open up anything else you want. For example, I can go and open up Need for Speed and I can totally go ahead and game, guys. You don't have to wait around for that to complete. Now, this is the best part about this thing. So if I just go back out, this is still going to go ahead and proceed doing it. As you can see here. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to go and delete this one. I don't want to I want to cancel this. OK, so now what we're going to do, we're going to redo this thing with the LAN cable this time. So guys, with LAN cable, it is going to be a little difficult because you had to choose your IP address and manually assign it, etc. But not a problem. I'm going to explain that in a very easy way. You can just follow this or you can just follow the IP address I give you. You can guys can just locally do that as well. All right. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the LAN cable. So let's go ahead and get that done. Plugging in the LAN cable to the PS4 and likewise plugging it into my Mac. Okay guys, now that I've plugged in the LAN cable, as you can see in my computer, I do have the Wi-Fi still connected. 
I'm gonna switch off Wi-Fi right now and I'm gonna to go to network preferences. So as you can see, the ethernet cable, this is the LAN cable and it has automatically assigned an IP address for me. Now I'm gonna use it manually and I'm gonna give it a manual IP address. So let's just say I'm gonna put 192, 168, or 1.105. All right, so guys, you can use the same one. I'm gonna leave it in the description. Just follow the same steps uh, without any issues and this should work perfectly for you as well. So I'm gonna put my IP address for my computer this way. I'm gonna click on apply, done. Now I need to manually do this on the PS4 as well. So if you look on the PS4 now, it's on the PS4, I'm gonna to go to settings. I'm gonna go down to network. And this time I'm gonna set up network connection, use a LAN cable and I'm gonna do it custom. Not easy, custom. So IP address should be manual. Now the reason I say manual, uh, you can leave the primary and secondary DNS because I kind of set it up for Elastive's uh, DNS. It does not matter, don't worry about it. So the IP address, remember how I put 92.1.105, which is on my Mac. So you can't use the same IP address. So what you gotta do is remove that, change to a different number. So I'm just gonna put six for that matter. Click on okay. Subnet mask should be the same as on the thing. So 255.0.0, okay? And default gateway, you can just put dot one dot one. Okay, so we have it all good to go and all set up. So I'm gonna click on next now. Automatic, proxy server do not use. Okay, it's all done and good to go on this side. Now that we have the LAN cable connected, I'm gonna go ahead and remote play first and so we can get a better quality of this thing, all right? It does automatically take it right now. Can you see that? It's 192.168.1.106, the IP address we gave it. There we go. It's remote played in right now, so I can just go and close this. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and send in the same package, the PS4 Remote Package Center. We have 105 as I put for my PC and here it is 106 which is what I gave for the PS4. Make sure to change the port as well, which is important. Click on change port. Now we're gonna choose the same file that I was talking about. Angry Birds, click on open. And before we go ahead and get this done, you know what to do. We're gonna go to, go to remote package installer and we're gonna open this up. So once that is open, click on send. And there you go, guys. Add it to downloads. It's good to go. You can see here, it was three MB per second before, but as you can see now, it's so much more faster. It's almost about 20 to 30 MB per second. And guys, there you go. This is how you can go ahead and transfer any package over to your PS4 while you can just go ahead and do whatever you wanna do, which is pretty cool, guys. It's pretty cool. And there you go. It should, it should go ahead and install. I'm gonna let this install for you guys so you can actually see how it goes through. All right, guys, so there you, you can see it's now installing the application, which would take you a quick a quick breeze to get done. And it is good to go, and it is launched. Now, I'm not an Angry Birds fan, guys. I'm just using this application just for fun. <laughs> just uh, before people start giving me weird comments about it. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna switch into Windows. Okay, guys, here we are on Windows, and we're gonna try the Ethernet LAN method. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one, and you can go to Network Settings. Once you go to network settings, you can go to change adopter options. So when you come here, this is the main place we need to go and that's my ethernet, still identifying. Don't wanna right click this, go to properties and in properties, scroll down to internet protocol version four. So this is what you need to click, click on properties. So it says auto obtain the IP address automatically. So I'm gonna use the following IP address. So let's go and put that in. So I'm gonna put 192.1.105. It's what I kind of did for the last time too. I'm gonna to leave the subject mask the same way, default gateway 192.168.1.1. Okay, prefer DNS. All right, well, let's see what the PS4 has. So we're gonna use the same one. Let's go to the PS4. Okay, so there you go. I do have the primary DNS and the secondary DNS. I'm gonna use the same thing there. So let's see, 227, alternate DNS. This is Allah Sieb's DNS, I'm pretty sure. 158. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is go to back, parameter connection, use a LAN cable one, custom, manual, 1.106. One, Default gateway, 192.1. Great. Okay, so now it's all done. I'm gonna click on okay here as well. So now it should be 
good to go. Test if it's actually communicating with each other. So I'm gonna go to CMD, I'm gonna go to IP config. All right, so as, as you can see, the IP address we've given here is this one, the subnet mask, everything seems to be good. So I'm gonna try and ping it to 192.168.1.6, which is, I'm sorry, 106, which is the PS4, and it looks like it's replying fine, that's good. So what I'm gonna do now, let's go and fire up our PS4 remote package center. So yes, yeah, so this is still 505. I'm gonna change the port to 8080, change port, and I'm gonna make this as 106, which is what it is. So I'm gonna choose a package file. Again, I'm gonna go for, let's see, where is that? Ta -ta 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 -ta. There we go, Angry Birds selected. I'm gonna do a test over here and, yep, it looks like it's working. I'm gonna cancel that. Great, so before you go and click on send, back in the ps go ahead and open that up and once that opens up here just click on send and that's it guys it is successfully sent and as always as i mentioned there you go you can actually see the download speed going up 10 to 15 mbps per second it takes about 100 seconds for 1.4 gb around one and a half minutes so then guys that's not a bad speed at all actually to do another test with the wi-fi so that is the LAN method of doing it guys and now we're gonna go and try it the wireless. So I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi here. Wi-Fi is connected. And the same thing I'm gonna do over here, I'm gonna go and switch into network, gonna set up network connection, use Wi-Fi instead. Yes. So now it's gonna switch to the Wi-Fi, you get a new IP address. Okay, well, it's keeping the same IP address, that's fine. Remote package center, change the port to 8080, and it's gonna be 103 this time, because that's what we notice here. If you go back here to settings and you go down to system for example system information it's 103 so guys don't forget to change this to wi-fi because that's important before you choose the wrong one it's not going to go through so i'm going to choose again angry birds of course and before i send it i'm going to open up remote package installer and click on send and there you go guys it is now doing this via wi-fi let's see the speed differences where it is there it is 12 minutes on wi-fi wow that's about two minutes, less than two minutes on, on LAN connection. 10 minutes on a Wi-Fi connection, which is pretty bad. I wouldn't really recommend the Wi-Fi. I really strongly suggest you to go ahead and get in a LAN cable, which is really, really important. All right, guys, so that's how we get it done on the LAN and the Wi-Fi. All right, guys, I really hope you found this tutorial pretty helpful. And if you did, go ahead and drop it a like and hit the subscribe button and do share with anyone who really want to do the same. All right, guys, do let me know in the comments if you want me to cover more tutorials, and I'd be glad to go ahead and look into that for you. And, uh, yeah, well, until next time, take care, guys. Cheers.